I'm Tamor Kokona, a Creative Industries Coach and Movement Director. My background is in performing arts. I've worked for over 30 years with the best in the arts and business. And I've learned from different experiences from working in West End, musical theatre and many other different venues and locations. After working with the best in the arts and business, I've noticed a trend with the creative people. They are fantastic at what they do, i.e. by creating things, being passionate and following their passion. However, there is an enormous disbalance uh, between their passion and their way of really creating and making and running a business. So, after seeing this experience, I uh, developed a, a professional development program called Perform Your Best. It's been tailored to help creative people develop and nurture their passion, but also turn their passion into profit. I have worked with the private and public sector. My main clients are in the private sector. However, quite often I've been invited to work with individuals and organizations in the public sector. I'm otherwise known as the English National Opera artist who went to train the Scotland Yard. The Scotland Yard is the police force for all of Greater London. I have a vast experience of working with young people, but also with professionals on turning their ideas and organizing their work in a way so they can benefit and profit as a business and develop not only their passion, their talent, but also their creativity in the business world. Having mentors is extremely important. They are there to support especially artists and other creatives into understanding the ecology of the whole of the industry. There are people who have gone through the road where somebody and someone new would like to go to. There are people who have had the experience and have had the, the vast understanding of a specific field or a wider field in the creative industries. So therefore, there will be the first call, there will be the best people equipped to support young creatives in developing their abilities and give them guidance, give them understanding, give them case studies, give them insights into what has worked in the past for them, but also to give them an understanding on how to see all of things holistically. Mentors are also very important to uh, support artists by inspiring them with their own case but also give that, them connections to the industry so they could uh, be they will be able to see their plans and their ideas come to fruition first of all to work with creative young people a mentor need to be a very good listener but also to see things holistically through various perspectives, not only through their personal experience and personal perspective, but also through the young creator's perspective, as well as to have the ability to oversee all of the reality around them. Second, a mentor needs to have the ability of having an understanding where the best ideas are and how to really bring out the best talents and abilities of the young person, as well as helping them in creating a plan, is to set up clear boundaries and aims and objectives. Without boundaries of working with young people, then the project would not be able to really go anywhere. And the same goes for a clarity of objectives. If there is not a clear deadline, then this is not going to help the young person. A project being developed uh, might go through different phases. They need to know when is the right phase to push and to support them. And when there is the moment that quite often, especially with uh, startups, uh, they need to really stop it because uh, there are things 
where you can't really uh, salvage by throwing more money to them. So therefore, a mentor need to have that, that take that position. After working for over 30 years in the creative industries and business, I've developed a system called Perform Your Best. It's an accelerator program for creative people and it takes people from uh, the beginning up to the end in order to build, to transform their passion into profit. This system helps young people not only uh, cater and take care about their passion and their creativity, but also keep an eye on the commercialization of their work without selling out. This is extremely important because for creative people it's very important to focus in their creativity but learn as well how to commercialize and create a business out of their work. I, I was trained in America on eMyth system developed and organized by Michael Gerber and recently I finished a course called Key Person of Influence by Dent International. These two courses have given me the insight on how to develop and build proper business systems. This is the basics that I use to support young creatives through my mentoring program. A mentor needs to have a proper understanding of the creative industries as well as the business acumen and understanding and experience because quite often we see mentors who are you know single-sided they just are narrowing down on their profession i.e somebody who works has worked all their life in as a PR they're fantastic at, at what they've done but a mentor in order to support creative enterprise need to have the holistic view on how to advise and give appropriate advice to the creative people so they would understand everything as well as the niche and the aspect or the art form or the business aspects that they would like to follow. This brings me into the question, what does a young creative need in order to broker the relationships or to work not only nationally but also internationally? In this aspect, I believe that uh, being more proactive is number one, learning how people communicate with each other, which is another skill that we expect to get it through life, but I believe that we could train young people at school. Uh, network as much as possible, create their presence in social media, utilize the new technology as much as possible, and learn how to put things into practice. One of the handicaps for young creatives today is a lack of understanding how money works lack of having uh, access to resources. Access to resources is a very, very important element. So once young people could be able to have access to resources, they would be able to go forward and put things into, into action. I've had the good luck of working with uh, creative entrepreneurs, coaching them, mentoring them, directing through them uh, through their different uh, enterprises, working with architects, graphic designers, uh, marketing companies, theatre directors, actors, musicians. I've worked with hundreds of creative entrepreneurs and creative artists over the last five years and I've noticed that all of them benefit by having the chance to try things out. So therefore, partnerships, not only in the country but also internationally, are fundamental. Mentors and coaches and the decision makers need to be aware to give the chance to these young people to try and test things out. And if they have to fail, to fail fast, fail good, fail hard, because that's the best way to learn in life. One of the things that I've noticed over the years, over the last three decades that I've been in the creative industries, is that uh, quite a few institutions such as colleges, universities and schools 
train and prepare amazing artists. These artists go out to also continue training, but the training to develop their skills are almost one-sided. For example, after three years of studying for a creative um, artist, such as an actor, musicians, could be a dancer, could be somebody in graphic design, could be somebody in uh, marketing, they learn about their trade, they learn about their profession. However, the day they leave the college, they look back and they realize that most of their work has, needs something else, i.e. business skills, business planning, marketing, negotiation, partnerships. All of these things are things that the young people, generally speaking, do not learn at school. I want to be fair on this, that there are business development uh, programs and departments at universities and colleges. However, I believe that every young person needs to learn alongside their trade, or let's say alongside their art form, they must learn on how to commercialize and run their business.